Welcome back to Round Tower Restoration, everybody. My name's Chris. Next to me here is the motor to my 1964 Triumph TR4 that I am rebuilding. As you can see here, this is not a generator, it's an alternator. Nice shiny new parts. So a new alternator, new pulley, new kit on how to install that. So ran into some hiccups right away, but uh, all in all, it went pretty smooth. And I'll show you how I did it. Thanks for watching. Let's get it sorted. So you may remember a couple videos ago I made a blanking plate for the fuel pump, but I'm going to, uh, in, in case I want to go to an electric fuel pump, but for now I am going to stick with the mechanical fuel pump, probably for, uh, for the run in and the, and the burn in for the motor. So I'm going to get that thing installed and essentially got, uh, got the gasket here. I'll get that painted up, get the fuel pump in there, uh, which I rebuilt quite some time ago, and then uh, get that mounted and get that torqued down. So we'll move into that. And then we're going to shift over to putting the alternator on. So I'm going from a generator to an alternator. And I still have concerns for my belt alignment here. So we're going to uh, go, th go that route for now to see how bad my, uh, my belt alignment's going to be. Only 12 to 14 foot pounds on this guy, so we got it set up for 13. Two bolts. All right, so there's the fuel pump. Nice and pretty. I like the look of that thing, if nothing else. All right, so now up is going to be the alternator, and this is all aftermarket stuff here, so uh, it probably is gonna be a challenge, like the rest of my aftermarket stuff has been. We'll see how it goes. That didn't take long to run into difficulties. So this is the bracket. It gets bolted to the side of the block for the generator or the alternator, whatever the case may be. And what's going on here is this is not, this has been welded. So this, this shaft here or this tube, whatever you want to call it, it looks like it's been welded to the bracket. Now I didn't really recognize this as not being stock because frankly, the welds aren't always that great from Triumph and these welds are looking okay. So, the uh, that's the, that's not when you order the bracket it's just the bracket itself these pieces are not there so what what that means is i can't put the generator in with the kit because there's no place to fit it because the generator or excuse me the alternator's gap here is much skinnier than this one and because of that i can't put the uh, the modifications to it so i've got a new bracket on the way i don't know how long that's going to take i got it uh, from rimmer brothers so it's probably going to be a little while so we'll hold off on doing that and move on to something else New bracket in. So now we'll transition to putting the kit together. The mounting kit, which is what all this stuff here is. The, uh, this is a, even though I got this stuff from Rimmer, it's a Moss kit because it comes with Moss alternator conversion instructions. So that's interesting. But we're gonna go ahead now and follow those directions. So the first thing is you get the longest 5 16 bolt, put a flat washer on it, and then install the bolt through the front side of the lower rear of the alternator. So the front side of the lower rear of the alternator. So again, got the alternator here. So this is the lower rear and that's the front side. So that goes in like that. And then uh, note this ear has an adjustable sleeve in it, which it does. That's what that guy is. Put the alternator spacer all on the bolt after it is protruding through the adjustable sleeve. So I believe that's this guy here. Lower the alternator down in place and push the bolt through the rear end of the generator mounting bracket. Install a flat washer, lock washer, and nut finger tight. So flat washer, lock washer, and nut. So that uh, trifecta there, finger tight. So we'll go over to the motor and present this guy up. All right, let me, I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing on and tighten it down. The instructions aren't that great to tell you the truth. And then come back at it. That way I can get that mounted and give me something to rely on. So there's that. So what happens is, is the front gets mounted like that into there, but I think I'm gonna have a problem with this spacer here. So the alternator needs to go back quite a ways still to get that front screw in. So I gotta move that adjustable spacer out so that this bolt comes forward like this and allows me to set that generator back 
about the entire thickness of the spacer. And I think, unfortunately, what that's going to do is I'm going to run out of thread on the back here. And it's not going to be, this bolt's not going to end up being long enough. Uh, I think I have another one of these probably laying around somewhere, but that's, uh, I think that's what I'm looking at. So let me try that. Try and give you a little bit better of an angle here so you can see. So I just took a hammer and was able to smack that shim through or the spacer or whatever you want to call it through that that wasn't tight at all not difficult to do so we'll slide the bolt through and the big spacer gets on there lock washer flat washer on this guy And from the front here, looks like I still need something in there to take up some space. All right, so I'm having problems with this, this guy up front here. I gotta take it back off here real quick. All right, go ahead and cinch these up a little bit. This one, I'm having problems getting started because there's not much thread exposed. All right, so that seems to work all right. This definitely need a longer nut here though, or a longer, longer bolt. It's not, uh, no thread protrusion out the back. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get a longer bolt in there though. Anyway, I also need to replace the pulley because the, uh, the aftermarket pulley with the narrow belt kit has a standoff on the bottom of it. Because right now I can see that that pulley doesn't line up with the crank or the water pump, but with that standoff, it should do okay. So I'm just gonna leave this bolt here for now put the top handler on. So that guy's gonna bolt in there. And I need that thick, need the spacer. So it looks like that's gonna work kinda like that. And what I don't have is a bolt for there, so I'll get that real quick. That's threaded. Tighten that guy down. And then the adjusting arm. I assume that this is the bolt for it, but this is not threaded, the alternator. And it's not big enough for the bolt. So I imagine I can tap it. And I also forgot the belt at home. I either drill this thing out, which I don't really want to do, or I tap it. I think that's what I'm going to do. It's only an aluminum, so I'm not too worried about it. Also see if I can get a solution for a bigger bolt. So this is generally how it's gonna to go together when I, when I get it tapped uh, and see if I can get a longer bolt down here. I'll come back and kind of show you the final, uh, the final product here. Now, there it is. I threaded that, uh, that hole fine. I'm still gonna use, I don't wanna just have the threads in there because I have some concern since it is aluminum, that vibration over time will, will start to knock those threads out. So I'm still gonna use the uh, nylock nut on it. If you think that I should drill them out and not have it threaded at all because of the concern of it, of it rounding out, let me know, but I, I don't think it really matters. So looking at some alignment here, the, uh, it's definitely off a bit. So I don't know. Still think that pulley, that water pump pulley needs to go in. But without the belt, like I said, silly me for forgetting that. Without the belt, I don't want to make a final judgment, but I, but this I think this water pump is, is sticking out too far still, which again is backed up by the fact that I don't have good uh, thread engagement on that nut. I can always pull that washer out of there. But anyway, so the uh, the kit is okay. It's not that great. The directions aren't that great, um, but it but it works. I mean, it's functional, obviously, and it, and it looks all right. It looks looks like it was meant to be that way, so I'm I'm happy with the the uh, overall quality, I guess. But uh, you know, until it gets some, obviously, until it gets running and I can see it in action and has it, how it holds up and all that, obviously, the jury's going to be out for a while. But that problem solved. So that's uh, that's going to be it for this quick little video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.